May is always such an interesting month for looking at animals. It's spring, it's warm, everything is out and about. These insects are sitting on top of the water. Check out the way they move their antenna. Check out this turtle. This painted turtle is digging a nest to lay eggs. I got to watch for a whole hour. I stood back and zoomed in. You can see it from this direction. I realized I was too close, so I moved back and got it from the side. And here it is laying eggs. It was amazing to watch for a whole hour. I actually um, eventually got some pictures of it finishing up, but it was a quite the evening. As the water warms up, the turtles swim around it in, in it more. Here's a painted turtle swimming around in Ridgeside Lake. And of course, they warm themselves on the log every morning. The bullfrogs have also woken up and you see them in the pond and here are two quick glimpses of bullfrogs. I have a special affinity for Fowler's toads and this was the first night of mating season so they're only calling intermittently. You're going to see this and then you're going to get to see one of the male toads calling and expanding its throat sac. Switching over to mammals, we've got a raccoon and it actually is digging for grubs and comes up with one. And of course you've got the bunny rabbits and the east side of Providence and probably all over the city has been overrun by rabbits this year. It's been just amazing. The woodchuck lives in my backyard and was lazing on my kayak. Once or twice a year, you get good pictures of bats just before dark. On average, birds are much easier to get video of than mammals. They spend more time out in the daytime. Often they perch in places or sit in places that you can see them rather than hiding in the pucker brush. What you're going to see now is a great blue heron catch a bullfrog and then you will watch the entire um, sequence while it um, kills the bullfrog and then swallows it to eat it. Um, it's a little gory but um, quite interesting.
One last scene of a great blue heron, you get to watch it fly off and land on the other end of the cove. I believe a pair of great green herons nested on Ridgeside Lake this year. Don't know where the nest was, have some ideas. Anyways, there was always one or two around this summer and um, this is some nice pictures of a green heron. I got some pictures later in the year of them catching some stuff, but this is just green herons hanging out. Only occasionally do you see vultures in the North Burial Ground. Here was one flying around right near Ridgeside Lake. And then you're gonna see a picture pretty close up of two um, adult vultures hanging out in a tree. We saw them on the ground, they jumped up into the tree and um, we got some nice pictures. And in May, I did see one Merlin hanging out on the hawk magnet tree. I watched the red-tailed hawks a lot this summer and spring and fall and winter. Here you are, the babies are finally big enough to be seen over the top of the nest and they're being fed. You're gonna have this picture, you're gonna have a picture from a couple of days later where the hawk babies are already bigger and stronger and you can see it. And then you're gonna have one picture in between of one of the adults bringing um, something that it caught over to the nest and uh, then feeding to the babies. The osprey nest at Morley Field, a place that is very much endangered by the ridiculous attitude of the government of Pawtucket. They nest up on top of one of the light towers and you get some pictures of them flying around, you get them pictures hanging out in other parts of the area, and then you'll get a picture of one in the nest. I did get some pictures later in the summer of the babies and you've got some pictures of them feeding. That one is I think feeding, maybe it's just cleaning. But they were beautiful and um, I'm really worried about what will happen to them now that the uh, city of Pawtucket is getting rid of that park. A series of small birds starting with the Eastern Kingbird. Usually get one decent picture a year of a northern oriole. Sparrows are pretty abundant. First we've got a white-throated sparrow and that will be followed by a couple of pictures of a chipping sparrow. Here we have a house finch, and it will be followed by a spotted sandpiper. And we finish our excursion through the wildlife of May with some turkeys.